What's going on YouTube land? It's your boy Drizo, and I'm back with another video for you guys. <clears throat> I was going to do a burner video uh, last night, um, but we got caught up in playing. Uh, both my girls were sick, so just didn't get around to it, but I will get that out for you guys tonight, hopefully. Uh, we do have Brad over on Rumble. Uh, he's going to do his take on the uh, Christian school shooting. And uh, I believe he's going to get that done for me on Saturday. But um, And it's also going to come with a gun review. So look forward to that, guys. Um, he's super excited about that. Again, Brad is not for children. He is a comedian, and he is unfiltered, and he's allowed to do that on Rumble. So... But I had a moment of inspiration. Uh, I'm going to work and obviously, guys, I'm having some, some issues uh, with management and all that stuff and we'll get into the details. Um, but I, I, I grind through my day and I get things done. But as I'm driving right now, I've got a Dodge Ram 4x4 in front of me. That's, uh, I call it Devil Red. And uh, on the back windshield, it's got a horned demon on it, right? <clears throat> and and then it's got a big old Beto sticker on the back for Texas. Now, I don't know if anybody told this he, she, and whatever's driving this thing that uh, he lost again and never will be welcomed in Texas. But in the bottom left corner of the tailgate, it's such a small little sticker of the American flag. And this kind of goes with the theme of what Black Powder Pop and me have been talking about as far as the culture war goes. These people will shout and yell Satan and everything that opposes good and moral. And then a little bit of what they say, just a small bit, just a fraction in the left corner, will say America. Now, I'm sure as well as you know and I know that these people don't stand for America. They don't, they hate America, they hate the national anthem. Uh, they hate everything about what made this country great. So let me go into what exactly made this country great that most people don't understand about our nation and what it was founded on. First and foremost, the reason that we left England in the first place is because in the Catholic Church, the Church of England, you were not allowed to read the Bible. The only person allowed to read the Bible were the elites and then your priests. You, as a person who sat in the pew, just had to trust that what they were telling you was what was in the Bible. We left so that we could read God's Word, that we could serve Christ freely. Church of England liked this because they were already imposing gun laws back then, uh, just like now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when we came over here, we created what is the greatest nation that the world has ever seen. We believed in our core fundamentals of family values. We believed in protecting your property, your person, and your family. We believed in that so much that the second thing that we ever wrote down was you have the right to keep and bear arms and the government shall never be allowed to take anything away of keep and bear arms within the scope of morality. What does that mean? I don't know. We followed what the Bible said. Thou shalt not kill. Well, you kill somebody, you're not going to have your guns. Okay. You rob somebody, you're not going to have your guns. Um, you rape somebody, you're definitely not going to have your guns. So when we put this in, into perspective and then we go deeper into it, right? So they did separation of church and state. Some of you guys have heard this. You know, church shouldn't be involved in, in government and blah, 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 blah. That's not what that means, guys. Here's a little history fact for you. Separation of church and state meant that there should be no state or national, I'm sorry, state or uh, government. Um, why am I drawing a blank on these words real quick? Um, denomination. Okay, it means Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, Presbyterian, all that, right? It, it didn't mean that Christ wasn't in government. It didn't mean that the church wasn't involved in government. As a matter of fact, 
most of the politics that you heard were on Sunday morning because the Bible gives you an outline of your life and the rules to follow. It also involves politics, believe it or not. It talks about paying back debts. It talks about debt forgiveness every seven years. It talks about all of that stuff. Everything that we derive our laws from comes from the Bible. So that is a fact that this country was founded on Christ, that we base our, our way of living on the Bible. Now, some of you may not be Christians, and that's, it's not fine, actually, because if you're not, you're going to hell. But you have the freedom to do that. But my job is to go into the world and preach the gospel and let you know that if you do not submit your life to Christ, if he does not save you, you will go to hell plain and simple. But that is a choice that you have to make. So when people say, I don't push my religion on you, great. I have a relationship and I will offer you that same relationship that you can have with him that I have so freely and wonderfully. Okay. But let's get to the next part of this stuff. The next part of this stuff is based in why our fundamentals are given to us and why they are written that way. Freedom of speech was given because God gave you the free will. He gave you the foundation of you are allowed to speak your mind. You are allowed to call a wrong out when you see a wrong. You are allowed to praise good when you see good. And you should never mix it to and praise evil and call out good. Unfortunately, our world has shifted that greatly. And it is uh, sickening, to say the least. When morality falls, a nation falls. And here's a really big one, guys. We all know about Rome, how great Rome was. <clears throat> Rome was around for longer than America is currently. What happened to their downfall? Well, there is several things that occurred to make their fall of their once great nation into nothing. I can tell you some of the biggest points, homosexuality. <clears throat> pedophilia when you started seeing these people run down this path of, away from what God intended is a man and a woman married to bear and raise children that is one of the biggest things that created the downfall of Rome uh, if you look around that is the very thing that is happening now there are people literally sexualizing children they are grooming our children. I watched uh, Crowder the other day, and they showed a, a brief clip of a 13-year-old boy dressed like a girl, dancing in a sexual manner in front of, I don't know, hundreds of men. The words that I'm allowed to say, or I'm not allowed to say I'm sorry, uh, would get me banned. That is, dis that is disgusting, that is evil, that is immoral, and that will not stand in my country. As far as I'm concerned, I, I know I have some good friends in California. Uh, the rest of it uh, can go burn. Uh, you, you're not going to bring that stuff here. All right? You're not going to, I'm not going to put up with it. There's not going to be a call to violence like people think. But... You're not going to push your immoral Satan-worshipping beliefs on me and my family and my community. See, here's the difference. <clears throat> I go based off a moral code that is not my own, but is his. When you go based off of a moral code that is yours, you become God. You become the center of worship. You become the center of gratification. And you see how bad that leads to. We've had people do it in the past. They say, I'm God. Now, everyone kill, kill ourselves with some punch. Okay? That's not God. I watched something about the Tennessee shooting, and there's literally an article newspaper in Tennessee that said that there was two tragedies that day. One was the children and the teachers being shot. And they said their prayers go out to them. Well, I didn't realize you could pray, but I couldn't pray. I don't know what you're praying to. 
and they said the second one is because of the oppression of transgenderism. Once again, I will say this and I will leave you with this. I don't care who you are. I don't care, honestly, what your beliefs are. The second you start praising a mass murder and saying it's a tragedy, they got shot, I would have reloaded and emptied another clip into that piece of shit. You come in and want to hurt our children and say you're oppressed by it? I'm sorry, that school gave you the opportunity and gave you the message of Christ. And you turned your back on it. And you ran the opposite direction. And you said, no, because I want to do what I want to do in my life. That's not how this works. I get up every day and go to a job that most days I don't really want to do. And yet I get up and I go do it. And I do it better than most people in that building. You know how you define someone who's great? They get up and do something that they hate as if they love it. My family knows my frustration and I still get up and go do it every day. I don't turn around and go, poor me. You guys have seen I've got denied from jobs because of my background, because of a piece of paper, because I didn't have $10,000 to go to court, because I couldn't prove myself, because I was a young, dumb kid once. They don't look at a person, they look at a paper. Just like you see them pulling all this stuff up from social media 10, 15 years ago. I'm pretty sure I said the N-word probably 10 years ago on Facebook, who knows? Does that mean that I'm a bad person? No, I have a black son. Oh, what does it mean? You got friends that are black? Yes, that's the very definition of how you know you're not racist. I wouldn't hang out with people that I hated. That's my rant today, guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Get after it. Do everything, even if you hate it. Do it as if you love it. And do it better than everybody else around you. And watch what happens. Watch how God will glorify that. Watch how God will bless that. Because in return, he gets all the glory and honor from it. Guys, Drizzle Nation t-shirts are available. Ask anybody in the comments down below how great they are, how comfortable they are. Don't just take my word for it. Take their word for it, guys. It is $30. I will ship it straight to you. There is no shipping charge. They are very comfortable. They are my first line of shirts that I have ever uh, made and worked with the Schutzer, who is an awesome designer. Um, he, he, he's, done, he's done an amazing job on the logo. And I won't make these shirts again. This will be the one and only time these shirts are made. I'll make new stuff in the future. I'll make stickers, coffee mugs, whatever. But these shirts, I will never make again, guys. So if you want one now, I've got small, medium, large, extra large. I think I've only got like three double XLs left. and They're gone. So I love you. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.